Hey everyone, have you ever seen if dunder name is equal to dunder main in a Python script and wondered what exactly what its purpose is? If you have, this video should help you out in explaining what it is and how it could be useful to implement into your own Python scripts. So as you can see, we're in script1.py and from this script, I wanna print the dir method. So the dir method will give us a list of attributes associated with this script. So we'll see we have uh, double underscore annotations, all these uh, dunder variables. And one of the variables is the dunder name variable. And the dunder name variable does have a value associated with it. So in this print statement, let's do an f string. So we'll do f with our quotation marks, and then we'll do script ones dunder name is equal to, and then we'll put the dunder name here. And we can save this and print and script one's dunder name is equal to dunder main. So that's because we're running it from script one. So you'll see if we go to script two and then we wanna import script one. When we import script one, it's gonna run everything in script one whenever, whenever we do the import. So we can run this and you'll see that script one's dunder name has changed to script one as opposed to dunder main that it was just a second ago. That's because we're running it from script two. Okay, so let's uh, give an example here of how this fact can be useful. So let's say in script one, we have a function called do something. And in do something, uh, let's just say that this does a bunch of code. So we'll just simulate that and we'll do a print statement and saying, running 1 million lines of code, okay? And then in this script one, we'll call the do something function. And then over in script two, let's um, import that do something. So we'll do from, let's get rid of this import from script one, import do something. Okay, in script two, we've imported do something. Now at some point in script two, say we want to actually use the do something function. Um, so when we run this, it runs it twice. So the reason it's running it twice is because it's running it in this import first from script one, because it's gonna run everything in script one and the script one has a call for do something. So back to script two, and then when we actually want to use do something in script two, it runs it again. So that's why here in script one, we can do this if dunder name is equal to dunder main, so that this do something call in script one only gets called if we're running directly from script one.py and not when we're importing script one into another script. So, now we can run this and it only runs it once and that's all there is to it thanks for watching and make sure to drop a like if you found this helpful